Welcome. In this video, we will perform object detection using YOLO v5, which is developed by Ultralatix in 2020. If the YOLO is something new for you, then let me tell you it is a very popular object detection algorithm which can detect the object from the images and videos. The reason of its popularity is its high accuracy and speed. In this video, we will only focus on the YOLO v5 implementation and we will write the code from scratch in order to have some understanding what is actually going on. But before starting, there are some requirements. Let me show you. This is the main repository of YOLO v5 provided by Ultralatix. And if I scroll down, here it is mentioned that the required version of Python is 3.7 or higher. So make sure that you are using the correct version of Python. And if you are not sure, then you can go to the code editor and there you can import this module and then print sys.version and just run the code and this will tell you the version of python you are using here you can see i am using python 3.10 after this we need to install the required packages for that we will go to the yolo v5 main repository and here is a file requirement.txt just click on it and there you will find all the required packages. To install them, we will click on raw button and then copy the URL. After this, we will come back to the code editor and in the terminal, we will write pip install dash r and then paste the URL and press enter. Just to save the time, I have already installed these packages. Now, once the required packages are installed, then we can start writing the code. First of all, I will import the PyTorch module. And then, we need OpenCV module. After this, we will load the YOLO v5 model. So, for that, I will write here, model equals to torch.hub.load and then I will provide the repository from where the model will be downloaded. So for that here I will go back and this is the repository. I will copy it and then I will paste it here. Now the next argument is the YOLO model which we want to use. So let me show you here if I scroll down here you can find a number of YOLO v5 models available. The larger the model you will use more accurate it will be but also more time it will take to detect the objects. Because I don't have GPU so I will use this small model. So here I will write YOLO v5s. And after loading the model, we can run the inference. So for that, I need an image. And this is the image which I have. To read it, I will write img equals to cv2.imread and then I will provide the name of the file. And after reading the image, we can run the inference. So for that, I will write result equals to model and then I will give the image and let's print the result to see what we are getting. Now I will run the code. Right now because there is no model in the project directory. So the first time we run the program, it will be automatically downloaded from the repository which we have provided. And here you can see our program is downloading the model. It will take some time. And once the model is downloaded, then we can run the inference. Now the model is downloaded and here you can see the result. It seems like a person and a car has been detected, but this is not the complete information. To get the complete information, I will convert the result into pandas data frame. So here I will write df 
equals to result dot pandas and then I will write xy xy and then in bracket I will write 0. Now let's print it and see what we are getting. Now I will run the code and here you can see we are getting our data frame and there are number of columns here x minimum and y minimum are the top left corner of the bonding box and then we have x max and y max which is the bottom right corner of the bonding box then we have confidence and then the label now we need to extract all of the information from this data frame so for that i will use a for loop and i will write for end in df.index This will provide me the index of each row and using this index I will extract all the information. To get the top left corner I will write x1 comma y1 equals to df and then I will provide the column name which is x minimum for x1 and then I will give the index. Then for y1 I will write df and the column for y1 is y minimum and then I will give the index. In the similar way I will find the bottom right corner. So here I will write x2 comma y2 equals to df and the column for x2 is x max and then I will give index and then I will write df and this time the column is y max and then again I will give index and after this we have confidence but just for now leave it and we will extract the label so for that I will write label equals to df and the column is name and then again we will give index now after this I can put all of these information on the image and then display it. So to draw the bonding box, here I will use rectangle function from OpenCV. And then I will provide image. Then I will provide the top left corner, which is x1, y1. And this is basically the coordinate and this should be integer. But here you can see it is not the integer. So we need to convert it into integer, otherwise this will give an error. Now the third argument is the bottom right corner, which is x2, comma y2. And then I will define the color of the rectangle and then the thickness. Now to put the label I will use put text function and here I will give image and then the label and then I will give the location. Then I will specify the font then font scale and then I will give the color and then the thickness. Now after this I will come out of for loop and here I will use I'm show method to display the image. And then I will use wait key function and waiting time will be 0. Now if everything is fine then the code should work. So let's run it and see if this is working. Okay the image is too big so I need to resize it. So here I will write img equals to cv2.resize 
then I will provide the image and then the size which I want. Now I will run the code. And here you can see our model has detected a car and a person even if the person is not clear. So I can say it is working very well. Now let's try it on a video file. I will just comment this length of code. And here to load the video I will write cap equals to cv2 dot video capture and then I will provide the name of the video file and after this to play it I will use while loop and then I will write img equals to cap dot read and then I will give the index which is 1. After this I will check whether I get the image or not so I will use if statement and if the image is none then we will simply break the loop. Otherwise we can display the image on the screen. So here I will use I'm sure method and then I will give the name to window and then image and then I will use the wait key function as usual and let's run the code and see Okay, this is the video file. Now let's run the inference on it. For running the inference, the procedure will remain same. So here I will write result equals to model and then I will give the image and then I need to convert it into data frame. So for this, I will copy this line. and I will paste it here. Then I need to extract all the information. So from here I will copy this for loop and then I will paste it here. And remember we did not use the confidence value before so let's use it this time. I will write here conf equals to df and the column is confidence and then I will give index then I will write text equals to label and then I will concatenate it with confidence And here I will replace the label with text. Now let's run the code. Okay, I need to do one more thing. Here I will round off the confidence value up to two decimal place. Now I will run the code again. And here you can see the result. It is detecting the objects, but it seems to be very slow. So let's try a smaller model, which is YOLO V5N. And I will run the code again. Now because this model is not in our project directory, so it will be downloaded from the main repository. So it will take some time. And here you can see the result. It is faster than the previous one and it is also doing well. Now at this point you need to know that running the inference from YOLO v5 does not only require the pretend weights but also some other modules which we haven't added in the project directory. So every time we run the program they are accessed from the YOLO v5 main repository. This means while running the program we need an internet connection. If you want to do it offline then you need to download the repository. So for this 
we will go to this repository and here you will click on code and then you can download the zip file from here and extract it into project directory otherwise we can copy this link and then we will come back to the code editor and then in the terminal we will write git clone and then we will give the url and this will clone the repository in our project directory it will take some time so i will just pause the recording and when it is done we will continue from there okay now the repository has been cloned and here you can see a folder name as yolo v5 now in order to run it offline i will provide this folder name instead of repository and then we need to give another argument which is source equals to local this will tell the program that you need to access all the required modules from this folder not from the main repository now if i run the program then it should work so let's try it and here we go it is working so this is how we can perform the object detection using yolo v5 you can see how easy it is that's all for now thanks for watching